what is up guys back at it again with another um video on my chaos max dragon link deck um or i've officially dubbed uh dragon link to the max um a work in progress um definitely let me know what you think in the comments below uh like and subscribe um you know it all helps the channel um you know i'm gonna go into the deck profile first um, and then I'll go into some test hands and, uh, tell you what I think, what I think, cause I changed the pro, the, um, the combo up a little bit. <clears throat> It'll put me into a good spot if you're able to get both heralds on the board under link cross. And then if you're able to put one level four lower dragon monster on the board, um, you can go into your Saryuja play and that really helps out a lot with your hand recycle. Um, so we're going to discuss that. I'm going to show this off. And then, uh, yes, there are some proxies in this build. Um, we're just, I don't have the cards yet, uh, but I definitely want to showcase it. <clears throat> so, one Chaos Max, one Blue Eyes White Dragon, one Dark Magician, and one Red Eyes. So... I know this is craziness. A lot of you are gonna be like, "You, that's that you can't." It, it actually really works. It works really well. Um, Blue eyes is only used for the Chaos Max play. That's literally all it's used for. And then these two are literally only used for the Dragoon play. Um, that's essentially it. That's why that's the that's why there's only one of each. Um, you know, really, what it comes down to. You have your. Three black metal, pretty standard. One darkness metal, um, pretty standard for any kind of dragon link deck. You want two tracer, one silver rocket or recharger or pretty much any level four. It really doesn't matter. Pretty much what it's going to come down to is you put the Boot sector launch on the board. You use the effect of tracer to target the boot sector. Bring out silver rocket or whatever level four you have. Now we're getting into um, some of my proxies. Dragoonity Phalanx. Um, really not a key part of it, but it is necessary if you don't have the extras. More key when it comes to the plays overall. Um, how you get Tracer to your hand when you go the Ravine route. This is your search from Brotor, always, always your search. Your Chaos base play. This is your dedicated summon off of Halky Fibrax. Um, it's pretty much the entire combo evolves around Halk Fibrax bringing him out, going into Link Cross, and then spamming that guy twice on the board to get your Heralds. And then you need to put your four star lower dragon monster below the Link Cross. So then you can go into Link Cross and uh, um, one of the Heralds after you make the four star lower into LP. Those two make Protector Whelp, and then you can go into your Saryuja play. Um, like I said, Brotor's search. If I had them, those would be double Noctovision. Yes, they're proxies. And then triple Nibiru. Yes, one of those is a proxy. Um, I just wanted to make it to as close as I could actually make it. Um, so yeah, I went out of the way to really like adjust all the pixels and everything for picture so it fit perfectly in the sleeve. Um, I just wanted to make it as close as I possibly could for you guys. Um, this is essentially all of the singles or hand traps. Um, I'll go over the side deck. Well, just I'll whip the side deck up, I guess. So for the side, pretty common package. That's pretty much all I run um, because that's all I have. If I had the money for the imperms or stuff like that, I would buy it. I want to get uh, maybe some Dark Ruler no more. I don't want to run Tactics because they're just so fucking expensive. Um, going into the spells. Pretty common. Triple Chaos Space. 
Um, you definitely need to run three quick launch. And then we get into the singles. Um, Monster Reborn, Red Eyes Fusion, Living Fossil. This is part of the key play for Chaos Max. Your Chaos Max Ritual Summons. And then your three Dragon Link, Boot Sector, Dragoonity Lance, and Dragon Ravine. Yes, Dragoonity Lance is um, a proxy. Um, I don't have it yet. I'm going to be picking it up. Um, you know, just I think this is going to be pretty standard if you run this kind of deck. You're going to want the Chaos Spaces because that's going to be a key part of getting your dragons on the field along with Quick Launch. Um, a lot of recursion with Monster Reborn, Living Fossil, and then you have your Chaos Max and your Dragon Link. You know, you have to run both of these. I thought about maybe not running this, um, but it just, I don't know. If I had this and then I made Romulus, it, it was kind of wasted. So it's definitely an extra plus if you get it. Now on to the extra deck. Pretty standard Dragon Link. Striker and Romulus, Alki Fibrax and Link Cross. Then you have your Dragon Link play, LP, Pisty, Protector Welp, Saryuja, um, Union Carrier, and Predator Plant Anaconda as the final board. You know, this is your Dragoon play, this is your Lockout. It's relatively easy, even without the parallel exceed to get a full all four board um i left marshall metal marcher in here i think i might take him out for like a uh like herald of the or hope harbinger um just because the play has developed into not really needing him. Instead of focusing on trying to get a one star on the board, you can get any four star or lower. Um, that way, it's just the play is more conducive to, you know, last minute thinking. Um, Floral Savage and Dragon. Um, this will probably be Hope Harbinger. Um, or not Hope Harbinger. Yeah, Hope Harbinger. Um, that's essentially the entire deck. Um, let me go into some, uh, we'll go into some, uh, and, uh, some test hands. Oh my goodness. I can't speak today. Some test hands and then, uh, we'll make some plays going and you guys can watch it. All right. Just so you guys can see my shuffling method. So you're really going to see how I'm able to, what it really comes down to with the deck is putting three dragons on the board. It's really all you have to do, full combo. Um, I could say all level four or lower, um, but it doesn't have to be that way. The only ones that have to be four star or lower are the ones for LP and for uh, Striker Dragon. <laughs> um... When you go into Romulus with Striker, you don't have to have the level four or lower. So it's three dragons, um, two level four or lower, one pretty much any level. Um, 
normally the easiest play is black metals to start which gets you into your darkness metal which gets you into romulus and then into how to fibrax <clears throat> Been playing around with a build with Etahara. I was not so dependent on getting Romulus out, um, but it's also good to try and bait out the hand traps early on as well. Um, at least in my testing. <clears throat> All right. Give it a little bit more for some good luck. that with this deck you always want to start first so we open up not super great <clears throat> definitely can perform our combo um, we'll take a little bit of finagling but we can still we should still be able to get it done um, so even with you know because this pretty much kills any play that you have um, I'm glad I opened the ravine, um, but you know we can at least get. This is going to get you into your um, your hockey firebacks and everything because you're going to open with quick launch, go into knock division because quick launch is going to put tracer on the board, and then uh, tracer is going to go into um, striker dragon, which then you're going to be able to use striker dragon and knock division um, to make the the romulus. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start, start quick launch. Four tracer. And then we'll go into like, I'll go over a little, couple better hands if we get like hand trapped or whatever. I just wanna, you know, show off, you know, base what you're able to do. <clears throat> so on the special summon, special summon that. Um, tracer to grave for striker dragon. Striker dragon effect. For boot sector. These two are going to make Romulus. So um, you want Noctivision chain one, Romulus chain two. So draw. Where are you? Divine Lance. Okay, so yeah, this doesn't, these two don't help me out at all because I drew them. Um, and this bad boy needs to get cycled in. So what it really comes down to, what I can use to finish out the play is these. Um, but I can discard these, so say I go Dragon Ravine, Ravine Effect, I'm going to send Divine Lance um, to send... Apps router dragon when I find it. Yeah. Apps router. So apps router effect for. Come on. Tracer to hand. All right. So what I got here at this point. is I can go boot sector, 
special summon rocket tracer and then these two don't make pocket firebrax pocket firebrax effect four Vylon cube this and pocket firebrax for link cross Again, excuse my cheapo tokens. Token and uh, Vylon Cube. Make Herald. Um, so then, uh, effect of Cube for where are you? Fossil. You go. Fossil effect to bring back the cube. Cube in the other one star. Make the other herald. So here you have double protection. Um, and pretty much at this point forward, up until you make Saryuja, you'll have your protection. <clears throat> well, this will be banished. I guess if I want to play correctly, that would be banished. So at this point, what I can do is I can finish up my board. And I can cycle my monsters back. Because what's going to happen is I'm going to put one monster right here underneath Link Cross. And you need one level 4 or lower dragon type monster to hit right here. If you put him right here, right below Link Cross, because you're going to make um, LP right here, you're going to go into your play. So... Monster Reborn. So let's say, just fuck it. Let's go Rocket Tracer. Then you're going to go Tracer to Grave. For LP. Now you're going to go Chain Link 1. For that. So you're going to get... You always want to search for max first. That way if you draw, say, the blue eyes and you get advanced ritual art to your hand, you're screwed at that point. So, chaos max to your hand. This is your hand. Chaos max to your hand. No, so, LP effect. You always summon off the LP Unless if it's in your grave, you summon Brotor. So, Brotor effect on Brotor to send Phalanx to the grave to get Levini to your hand. And then you send Brotor to the grave to link into Pisty. Pisty effect to bring back the tracer you gotta make sure you bring back the tracer off of your pisty because then you send these four herald for your other half to the grave for saryuja so you want your chaos max to your hand so you want to do um herald chain one saryuja chain two so herald will do your search for, or you want to do your, do your draw first. That way, in case you draw the blue eyes, um, you can make sure you put it back to your hand to your deck. So, one, two, three, four. I added all the hand traps to my deck, so, well, it's alright, it's probably why I got so diluted and I got such a crap start, I'll have to go through and um, remove them before the next go through, but this is decent, I would go 1, 2, and this would go back to my deck so I can equip it, so then you're going to end up with these, so these back to the bottom, and then I get a search, advanced ritual. 
So that is guaranteed Chaos Max in the play going to Saryuja um, off of pretty much the standard Dragon Link. I mean, this is just you're going very, very slightly out of the way to get a much better result. So then you're going to go Advanced Ritual for Chaos Max. I'm not going to send... The Blue Eyes would go, but I'm not going to search through that. At this point, you have a lot of potential. Because right now you have Boral Savage. Um, all you need to do is put maybe him on the field. So we'll just go we'll Banish a Light. Banish Cross to bring him out. <clears throat> then let's say we'll link these two off for Anaconda. Effect of Collapse Serpent. Wyver Burster. And then at this point, you can go, I don't know if I want to do, normally I do the light summons, so you can get the extra, um, get the extra summon from the, from the grave. So you banish three lights. <coughs> For Levianir, Levianir brings back pretty much any dragon type. At this point, you know, board is secured. I'm going to have, you know, I have Dragoon, I have Chaos Max, I have Boral Savage, and now I have the extra deck lockout. And I still have two cards in my hand. So, I mean, this is, I, I have guaranteed board. So, we'll go extra deck lockout, uh, tracer effect, pop this to bring out Silver Rocket. Tracer and Silver Rocket makes that. Makes our Yuja's ass out. Um, I'm going to take 2k for Anaconda. The Dragoon on the board. Effect of Union Carrier. Extra deck lockout. Um, oh shit! Dang it! Do that every time. Sorry, guys. It's it's really just as simple as that. And I still got two cards in my hand. Um, the only extra deck monster I have left is Martial Metal Marcher, just so I don't use it. Um, you know, if I would have if I would have had the blue eyes in the grave, what I could have done with uh, what I could have done is put this on the board instead of using um, the monster that I summoned off of. Um, Levy Near, uh, what was it? I can't remember who I summoned off Levy Near. Oh, the other, yeah, Collapse Serpent. If I wouldn't use, if I would use Levy Near to bring back Blue Eyes when it was in my grave, if I would have put it there, I could have gone into Hope Harbinger. So, um, you, you know, this could be Hope Harbinger right here if I have the ability to go because I could have put, you know, that there, you know, you put this on the board to make. Um, Anaconda instead of using the other one um, and then you would still have chaos space in your hand to throw off of for Dragoon um, so I'm gonna clear the board real quick we'll do another hand all right and we are back with another hand um, we'll finish up shuffling up real quick and just so you guys can see it I'll do it one time on the table and then we'll get going from there